Hello everyone, Jonathan here from Triple M Games, and I'm here to show you my Wacom Bamboo Settings UI for Linux. And here's my Wacom Bamboo Pen Tablet. There's no buttons and no touch feature. It's a basic pen. You got the pen tip, and you have the middle mouse button and right mouse button. There's no eraser on it. But here's my uh, settings UI for it. I made this in Godot. And let's, let's go over how this works. So, whenever you click Refresh Device Info, it will change your text label to show what devices that you have that are compatible with the uh, Wacom library. Currently, my stylus is set to ID14, so I can change that. And if your device is different, then you could always change it. Click on Apply Device Number. Then we go over to Pen Settings. And what you see here is at the bottom, we have the pressure sensitivity. So how much pressure you apply to the tip before it actually changes any information. And then we have the buttons, which right now, you know, middle mouse button and right mouse button. I included a help button, which brings up a whole menu showing what the syntax is. And then you can apply or reset. I'm going to jump over to Krita, and these were some pressure sensitivity tests I did earlier. I'm just going to hide and create a new layer. So currently, we have it set to where I don't have to apply much pressure. So I'm going to try my best not to apply too much pressure. And then, as you can see, it's really easy to make thick lines. I'm going to move it all the way over there. And then... As you can see, it takes a lot more pressure to get those thick lines. And yeah, let's see here. Middle mouse button allows you to pan around the viewport. Right mouse button allows you to see different pen tips that you could choose, even erasers and stuff like that. I'm going to change this to key CTRLZ for undo. And I'm just going to apply that. Go back over here to Krita. Then I think it's scribble a little bit. Oh no, I messed up. Ta da! And it's just that easy to undo. I'm going to reset that. And then uh, we have tablet settings. So, first thing I'm going to go over is the pen tracking mode which currently pen mode allows you to like whenever you hover your pen over your tablet it sets the cursor relative to your tablet surface to the monitor uh, area screen resolution and if I set it to mouse mode now it works just like a mouse whenever you're outside of the range it's not going to change it whenever you come back into range it's it's just gonna keep on moving like a mouse I'm gonna set that back to pin now you can change the ori orientation so that whenever you're drawing you can have it vertical or left-handed so currently I'm set to right-handed I'm going to click on left-handed and as you can see now it's kind of inverted so if I rotate it this way Now it works basically the same way it did before. I'm going to click on Vertical Up. So as you can see, it, it works that way. And, and then the same for this. So let's... <laughs> ah, wait. <laughs> Go back to right-handed. There we go. And then right-handed mode. All right. 
Next, we're going to go into monitor settings. This is work in progress. So currently, you're going to have to manually set up uh, where on your screen you want your mouse cursor to go. So like uh, my screen resolution for my first monitor that's running for my HDMI, it's uh, 1920 by 1080. And later on, you'll be able to set it so your mouse cursor can't leave a certain area. So you could set it up to where the mouse cursor can only go in the top right uh, part of your monitor or like only the top part. Maybe if you want it to only be in the drawable viewport in Krita, you'll have to manually play around and set that up, but you can do it. Uh, why, why did I set that up this way? Well, because I have a dual screen setup, so if I wanted to have it so that my, my tablet isn't going over both monitors, which is what it does by default, uh, then I can set it up to only go over in my HDMI monitor, or go over to my, my smaller monitor. And basically, whenever I'm drawing and it's spanning over both monitors, this area, uh, space sensitivity, or like uh, the DPI, is too too stretched. Like uh, it's a small space spanning over <laughs> multiple pixels, and my tablet, it, it's like it's drawing all jittery, and <laughs> it, it's it's not supposed to do that. So if you limit the screen space to your tablet space then it makes it more more stable. And you'll be able to refresh the information and then apply the tablet resolution. And then, again, I'm Jonathan Mueller, and my friend helps me get started on this project. We were originally going to use Python using the TK Enter module, but it was faster for me to do it in Godot game engine. So I just kept on going and it turned into this. Uh, later on, I plan to have profiles. So whenever you're changing settings around, you could change over to profile one and that would change over to whatever that setting was. Or, you know, same thing with your mouse buttons. So you don't have to manually keep on entering in text or stuff like that. So thank you for watching, and I'm hoping to release this on GitHub soon once I finish up with my basic monitor settings. Later on, I'd like it to where it's actual, it's a visual, almost RTS style selection box. So you have four points, but you can drag them around, and it sets it a whole lot faster than, okay, let me enter in this number, let me calculate the, the division and all that stuff. But uh, I'll try to make it visual later. And another thing that might happen is, I mean, with this being, I'm hoping for this to be a community project that other people can contribute and help make this a really good UI. Because it's multi-platform, at least... Uh, it's not exactly multi-platform, but I could make it that way. Because currently it's tying in the Linux. The user bin bash. Uh, that's... So I can't use Windows or Mac. Um, anyway. Yeah, C++ is something that someone recommended for better resource management on computers. Uh, I don't know if we'll actually get around to doing that, but if I can tie it into the operating system a little better, it might be kind of fun to try or cool. Anyway, <laughs> just, just some random thoughts that came to mind. Uh, I hope this uh, turns into something really cool and epic. I know it's going to help me out a lot in my stuff cuz I mean I can I can set the pin pressure and sensitivity and oh I can change the the buttons and 
all that, that cool stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of needed. Um, so, yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have fun using my UI, and I I hope to get some help or see see how far this project goes later. <laughs>